I say to the championship in the West? Wing cup and ride, turn one. Who can make the jump? Bright gets a good initial bite. Alex Davidson makes a stormer. Slots to the inside. That's massive. Oh, oh the slots on massive. the grid. He was stalled on the grid. And it's been hit from behind. That's uh and Carl Carl's Weimler. moving, trying to get out of this car quickly. He's out of the car. That's good to see because that has taken a massive hit from behind. The race is red flagged. And it, there's another car involved behind. It's really hard to pick up. It's a Kelly, it's a Kelly car, I think. Yeah, it was a black Commodore by the looks of things. I think it's hard to see. I think it's Todd Kelly's car. He was starting right down the back. The danger here, we're going to have a look at a replay to try and unravel what's going on. Look back at the pack, Carl stopped. Oh, oh, man. oh man. And, and Dave Reynolds pulled out of the way. Owen completely unsighted. He had no chance. He had nowhere to go, did he? And that's just punched straight into the fuel cell. It's split the cell. The fuel's been ignited, but there's a whole lot of electrical apparatus in the back of the cars. There's fuel pumps in there. There's oh. power and batteries oh. and things in there. And I, and I don't think I've ever seen anything quite as ferocious on a start line in terms of front to rear impact. That has devastated that car. That, that car will be just about over and out, I'd say. I totally agree. I've never seen an impact as heavy as that on a start line anywhere. Um, and, and there's really not much you can do about it. I, I, it does say the next generation of car that will pull the, put the fuel cell further forward is a great concept. Um, and uh, roll on because really these start line incidents to me they're one of the last frontiers of real danger in our sport. I totally agree Larko and for the car of the future the fuel cell will be located in front of the rear axle centre line instead of the fuel cell being behind that which you see that there as soon as that car was impacted it immediately burst into flames as Neil said an absolutely massive collision and I reckon you're right, it'd be pretty close to 150k when Steve Owen has just run straight to the back of Carl Reinler. And, and uh, spare a thought for Steve Owen because the impact for him and the bite that you get from the seat belts at that point of impact is really significant. So he'll be wounded as well and, you know, winded, it'll hurt. And look at, and this is what I was talking about before, you've got the, the fuel collector, You've got fuel pumps high and low pressure in there. Uh, very often the battery's low and rearward in the car for weight distribution. So you've, you've uh, obviously got fuel and ignition sources separated under normal conditions, but when you have such an enormous impact, clearly the fuel gets away and uh, things get broken. There's, uh, all you need is that uh, arc of a spark and away you go.